My name is Tremaine Emery, co-creator, uh, co-creative director, co-owner of No Vacancy Inn, and uh, sole creator owner of Denim Tears. And um, I'm here today on this beautiful day in London to talk about uh, my very good, oh, on show studio, talk about my very good friend and one of my biggest inspirations, Virgil Abloh's um, collab with Nike and um, Jordan the Air Jordan 1 off-white collab. And um, when Show Studio reached out to me to come and talk about my favorite you know, new clothing item, it was um, an automatic no-brainer to talk about these puppies. And um, it might seem like some type of nepotism. Maybe it is, and that's good. But really, even if Virgil was a stranger and I was uh, fortunate enough to have a pair of these, I'd probably come talk about them. Even if I didn't have a pair, I'd be like, well, can you guys get a pair and can we talk about them? But I do know them and they're special for a lot of reasons. I mean, let's start off with like the first and to me the most important, well, parallel with the design and the, there's three important things. There's the personal aspect, how he seated them out and wrote on them for everyone. Then there's the um, design aspect, you know, how they're made, you know, to like kind of be worn in, and all the other aspects, the laces, the riding on the side, the no Nike check, the 85 right here, um, shoelaces, you know, kind of like meta thing going on there, um, everything about it, but also then there's Virgil's journey, you know, as a graduate from the Kanye West University. So those are the three things we'll talk to quickly. So firstly, it's like, um, you know, I've known Virgil probably five years, half a decade, maybe going on six, and um, you know, we've just done a million parties, a million, talked a million ideas, a million conversations after 8 p.m. Um, till five in the morning. We've caught flights together, um, all types of thing. You know, done, part, done parties in Lagos, Nigeria, you know, fights that we almost missed, landed with no visa. We've been through all kinds of adventures, and um, it's like, when he gave me these and he wrote Mom Smiles, it really showed that this was a, this collab wasn't his collab, solely it was for the community. Cause it's like each person that he's given these to, there's something personal to his relationship with them. And um, so it's not just a hype thing. It's like a love, family, personal thing, because, you know, like, specifically, my mom passed away two years ago, and, like, you know, Virgil was one of the many people that supported me, helped me get through that, and even, like, two years later, when he has these sneakers, after his fashion show that he did with Jenny Holzer, and I know all the work that went into it, and then when he's giving them out, this is what comes up to his mind, like, mom smiles, you know? Something that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with him. It might not be thought as the coolest thing or funny, it's just like something really personal between me and him, something he's texted me before when maybe I've said something on Instagram, he's like, yo, Tremaine, your mom is smiling. So him to like be his point of reference for giving me these, uh, I just thought it was a beautiful thing and uh, reminded me more than anything, me and Virgil, uh, besides like friends and at times business partners, like, you know, there's a lot of love between us and, you know, and even when I see everyone's shoes, the different stuff, some of it's funny, um, some of it's satirical, some of it's uh, sarcastic, some of it's silly, but it's just like, it kind of emphasizes why Virgil is where he is at in this moment. One of the reasons is he's such a personal, real person when he gets to know you. And um, it's great for the kids to see that, to have humanity in the things you're doing and it's more than just likes on Instagram and money and stuff like that. It's like really connecting with people because without that, it's all just soulless. So then get to the design. Um, it's just, it's like, it just shows you all his inspirations, like from him having an architecture degree, actually, sorry, not degree, masters, to, you know, one of his favorite artists being Tom Sachs, the whole like vibe of like, the sneakers change. Look, I've had these for like a month. And just because of my lifestyle and the way I live, you know, the Nike check's starting to bend and, you know, hopefully it'll come off or come half off. I mean, that's just, I love that. And just like, you know, how the checks, like the 
the, sh the toe was oversized and like how this is cut off here and it's just, it's just like beautifully imperfect. You know, he didn't try to make the perfect sneaker, which makes it perfect. And then um, it just seems like seamless, and, but yet so thoughtful. And um, I guess it's kind of like a building. And he is a trained architect where you look at a building, you're like, oh, it's meant to be here. But really, it's all these little things that go into it. And it's, it's the same thing I see in a sneaker. And then also just like Virgil being from Illinois and Michael Jordan and just that connection. like. I mean, I, I wish time travel existed. You could go back and be like, Virgil, 16-year-old, 18-year-old Virgil, you're gonna have a collab with Nike one day, with Jordans, you know, and then Michael Jordan's gonna text Nike and say, I need a pair of those, and you gotta sign a pair to him, just madness. And then also, the third thing is like, this shows like, for me, you know, I know Virgil very well, and I've you know, gotten to know him, Kanye over this last year, working with him, and I only bring that up to show like, this kinda shows that like, Kanye's impact and Virgil's impact on the culture, and Don C, and Ivan Jasper, and all that crew of guys, you know, J you know Justin, um, Matt Williams, all those dudes over the years, all the stuff they did, and how they all graduated from like Kanye's school of thought, you know, and um, you know, Ye told me that the culture is like a, he said the culture is like a hundred year living painting. And are you gonna, he's like, Tremaine, are you gonna add to it or take away from it? So this is like Virgil adding to that, that hundred year painting and like, just like, just shows how like the greatness that Ye's done and he spawned these creatives who were great before him and then he put them through like Jedi training and they come out and done these amazing things. You know, so it's a, it's a salute to him too. And mostly it's a salute to Virgil. And I'll end this on, but one of the first things I thought about when I saw this shoe, two years ago, December I make two years, me and Virgil went to Lagos on this crazy adventure to DJ a party. And it was madness. We didn't have visas. We landed, no visas. We had to get visas on arrival. All kinds of craziness. My passport was filled. They had to just whatever. Anyway, and we got through and we did the party. And then me and Virgil were both to like our people that brought us out. We, we need to see the shanty town before we leave the village. You know, like where the really poor Nigerians are living. So we went to this uh, little shanty market and there was this woman and she was sewing. And Virgil was just like, Virgil's a pretty stoic dude if you know him. And he's just like staring and like kind of like something was going on. I said, V, what's up? He's like, yo. My mom used to do that in Ghana, you know? And it hit him because it's like, he's first generation American. And all his parents wanted for him was to stay out of trouble and go to school. So for him to, for his, in a generation's time, for his mom to go from being a seamstress and making clothes in Ghana to get into America with her husband, you know, and working to give a life of Virgil so he could go to school, to him having this, uh, it's just, uh, it's inspiration for anybody that's trying to do anything. It doesn't even have to be in fashion or clothing. Whether you want to be a doctor or athlete or a charity worker, it's just, uh, yeah, I hope everyone sees this shoe as inspiration. Inspiration, because I do, and I'm very thankful to have Virgil as a friend and thankful that I got a pair.